talking about what kind of things you were worried about before you started here and how that's gone for you since you've been here. Now I know that lots of times when year fours come up to us, they tell us that the things they're worried about are things like getting lost, getting hundreds of detentions, getting so much homework that they don't know what to do. Were those some of the things that you guys were worried about? Yeah. 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 Who was worried about getting lost? Okay, do you want to tell me a little bit about that then, Jack? Um, I was getting, um, I was worried about getting lost in different places and needed to go to different classes. Yeah, were you? Anyone else worried about that? Yeah, you go on, tell me a little bit about that. Um, then, yeah. I didn't want to miss a class and get detention, so that links into detentions too. Yeah, and how's that been for you? So has anyone been, how's it been since you've been here about getting lost? What's it been like? Go on. Well, it's been amazing. I haven't been lost because we haven't been able to go that far because of coronavirus. Yeah. But I bet when things do go back to normal, there is going to be the odds getting lost, but I assume that we're going to eventually run into some sort of old kid or someone we know who's been telling about the school. Also, the very handy videos on YouTube about Brooklyn. Okay, very so you watched some of the videos before you came. So uh, who else is worried about getting lost? So Nathaniel, you were worried about getting lost. And how's it been for you since you've been here? I haven't got lost at all. Have you not? Um, you have gone with your friends. And teachers as well. Okay. So you can't get lost because you just follow the crowd. Oh, I see. So the teachers go with you. Wait, because you haven't moved around very much. You haven't moved around as much as normal, yeah. have you? But you have moved. What lessons did you move around for? Go on. Uh, we move a bit for maths. You do. Arc and economy. Mm -hmm. ICT and PE. Of course, yeah, yeah, ICT. And so you have moved around a bit then, so how's that been for you? Have you got lost in that time? Go on. I haven't got lost. So it's been okay? Yeah. And would you say then to the next year's lot of year four, should they be worried about getting lost? No. 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 And what happens if they, what, would, what, would you, what advice would you give to them if they did get lost? What would you say to them? Yeah. I would say, um, what class are you meant to be in? Yeah. Um, and like, what year are you? Do you know your? Do you know this school a bit? Do you have an older sibling? Okay. And what teacher are you? That so I know a bit about them. Yeah. Okay. So I could because I'd already had a year. Then I would learn the the way around, and I would know that this is ICT one. This is ICT two. Can I interrupt you? So what you're saying is, as a year six, it would help them wouldn't it, next year. So do you think the older year groups would help you find your way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. The kids here are pretty good. I, when we have visiting teachers, I always say to them, the kids here will send you to the right room, not the wrong room. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Too. Okay, what about um, another thing that people worry about, and Nathaniel, you mentioned it, is that the teachers at middle school are going to be really mean and give you loads of detention. Who was worried about that when they came here? Really? Tell me a bit about that then, Jack. Go on. Um, so I, I really thought that the teacher's going to be like even dragging. She said it was detention every five minutes. Like, really? Detention, 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 yeah. But okay. It's, it's actually not like that. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's actually a lot better. Okay, so what are the teachers like here then, if they're not evil dragons? Go on. They're really nice and they're not that mean. Okay. That's a fine... Fine um, praise indeed. Not that mean. I like that. Go on. <laughs> um, if you won't get in trouble like every single time, you won't get shouted at if it's like real trouble. But it will be okay because the teachers are really kind. Um, and you've got this class shop point. Oh, tell us about that then. Class shop point. How does that work? It's like an app where you, when you do something positive. You, you get attended a class chat for in like a positive one. So you get to choose like good work or uh, well done. Or good effort or something like yeah. that. And have you, um, I, I, obviously I know you can spend your positive points. Has anybody spent their positive points yet? Fantastic. Juliet, what have you spent? I Yours haven't on? spent mine because I forgot what my class code was. Oh, no. Yes. That was terrible. I was like, Okay, I went to you. Juliet, what have you spent your positive points on? I haven't spent them. Who, who has spent their positive points? Sunny, what have you spent yours on? Um, I spent it on PE in the hall, but that got cancelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's the, that's the um, fireside hall. Indoor. Yeah, okay. Has anyone spent it on a form? I spent it also on non-uniform. Oh, yes, you can 
can send it on in our uniform day. And we've got another one coming up, I think, before the end of the term. Okay, so was anyone worried about anything else then before they came? Juliet? I was worried about getting like, loads of homework and it taking up my whole weekend. Oh, yes, was anyone else worried about that? Yeah, that's, it. that's another common one that actually people coming to middle school are really worried about. How's that been for you, Juliet? Most of the homework you get, teachers will tell you when you get it and tell you when it's due so that you know. And most of the homework you can do in about five minutes, which so, is really good. So it's been okay. And you're just getting used to Google Classroom at the moment, aren't you? Yes. That's, that's, you're, the, you're the first year that we've used this with. Um, is that how you're finding that? Is it, is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, you like it, do you? Yeah. yeah. I guess you can see where your homework is, can't you? And you can yeah. see how much positive you can on the class chart app see how many positive points you've got. Noah? I was also worried about missing classes. Why? Because you got lost? or? No, because I didn't want to get detention, so then I was worried about missing classes. Oh, I see. Okay. And, ha and has that been a problem? No, because most of the time you're going with your friends or class. Oh, I see. So you were worried about kind of forgetting when you had a class or yeah. going to the wrong... Do, do you follow a timetable, don't you? Do you yeah. all have yeah, a timetable? Yeah, we all have, like, yeah. a, in our link book, we have, like, yeah. a case at the back with our timetable in. And what happens if you lose your timetable? <coughs> has, has, has that happened to anybody? No, no. no. Oh, that's all right then. Because it's, like, in a folder. It's in a folder. But what would you do if you lost your timetable? Does anyone know, Nathaniel? Um, I'd ask a teacher for another one. Yeah. And I think, isn't there one up in your form room yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought there was. I thought there was. So is anyone worried about anything else then before they came here? Grace? I was worried that if I go into the wrong classroom, I'll miss my class. And then if I go into the wrong classroom, then I might get a bit embarrassed but. because I'd be in the wrong classroom and I have to go yeah. all around the school. But then um, you, when you go into the wrong classroom, you just ask the teacher, is this this classroom? If it's not, they'll just help you go to the right classroom so you won't miss your class and you won't get detention. That would be really embarrassing, wouldn't it? Going to what you thought was like year five French and you walked, accidentally walked into year eight English or something like that, wouldn't it? But that's not happened, has it? Yeah. That's really good. Um, anyone else worried about anything before they came here? Jack? I was worried about, with this lockdown, I was worried about not meeting the expectations. Oh. So, because uh, like, I missed like half of a year of yeah. like, school work, then I was a bit worried about that. Okay. Because obviously when you get into middle school, the expectations are a lot higher okay. than lower school. But um, I found out that actually, if if you work, like if, if you put your mind to it and actually focus, then, you, then you've done it really. Yeah. Like if, yeah it's easy, it's a bit like not easy, but yeah. Harder than but the lower school, because yeah. it has to be, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. I think that's a really good point actually and I would imagine lots of people were probably worried about that this particular year that you guys came up to year five because obviously you missed out on all the transition things at your lower school as well, didn't you? So you've all come from different, well not all of you, but you've come from different lower yeah. schools, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know some of you have come from lower schools like Eden and Hipstone where we send a lot of people, but I know some of you, Grace, you've come from Dovery, Dovery where I only been like three people from yeah. So how have you found it making friends? I found it easy but then hard because I don't really know many people. Okay. But then in your class you get to know them because you're always with them. Right, okay. And, but apart from maths and uh, into your sets. Oh yes, you are taught in sets and maths. Yeah. Science and sometimes English. Well that's in year six, yeah. In year five you're taught in sets and maths. And so how has everybody else found making friends and things? Go on. Well I found friends making friends a bit panicking at first when you arrive because you're like, who is the best person to make friends with when yeah. you don't know them? But then you somehow run into them and you start talking to them and then you start to become friends. Yeah. And then the more you play with them, the more you talk with them, the more you be with them, the stronger your bond gets until it's like the bond you had with some friends you may have lost or still have. That's lovely. What a lovely thing to say. Evie, what about you? Have you sort of have you managed to make friends since you've been here? Yeah. And that, quite a few. And are they and new friends or friends you have from lower school? Um, quite a few of them were from lower school, but I've still made lots more. That's really nice. Has, has anyone helped you? Has the teachers helped you make friends, or, or has it just been you? Have you just managed to do that? Or? And the teachers like sort of help you. So I have this new friend, and and I didn't know her because she came from a completely different lower school and so she sat here 
and then I sat on a completely different side of the room. Mm. And then um, the teacher put us to like a table away. Yeah. So I was I was the table in front of her, and then she was the table behind. And um, that helped you make friends. With yeah, you? and oh, that's then we nice. become really good friends. And that's really nice. Can I just? I think we might. I think we're going to be running out. I think we might run out of time in a minute. So I think is it worth us? Saying something to the new year four, so let's 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 leave them with some maybe some kind of top tip or something to reassure them coming up in September. You know what it's been like, how you found things, and what advice would you give them? What would you say to them, Nathaniel? Just remember that you've always got some of your friends and you've always got the teachers as well who can okay. help you. Thank you. That's really nice, Noah. Well, there's there's a lot of people that are basically are like the same you that you never met and then you meet them in middle school and then you're able to make a lot of new friends. That's really lovely, isn't it? That's really nice. Jack? Uh, just when you have school work, if it looks hard, just focus and then you will get around to doing it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, Julia? Um, you shouldn't be worried about teachers because all of the teachers are really nice and will help you if you're stuck on something and you you won't be worried about anything really because it's a really nice school. Oh, that's 